Welcome back to another episode of Filthy Casual Fermentations. On today's episode, we're going to be pouring some Guinness. Um, there was a lot of feedback when I poured Guinness back on the Filthy Casual Confusion Hot Dog episode and felt that maybe I needed to clear the air on why I pour Guinness the way I pour Guinness. But first, let's get our history out of the way. Uh, as you all know, Guinness was founded by Arthur Guinness in Ireland. He was first brewing ale and then decided to be different. Ooh, meme ready. Ooh, he wanted to be very different. So he decided to make porter, which was only being made in England. Big no-no. But he made it so it would be, have a more Irish distinct flavor. So then he moved his operation to Dublin at the St. James Gate uh, industrial area where he signed a 9,000 year lease, folks. 9,000 year lease. Folks, I can't even imagine finishing out a 30 year mortgage, let alone a 9,000 year lease. Um, but before we, we'll, we'll table some of that history for a second and we are gonna go right now to pouring um, some Guinness. So as you know, we're gonna go with the time tested true method that I do consistently. So we are going to knock that in and we're going to pour it into the glass and we're gonna do what is a surge and settle method to our drink. As you can see folks, I'm wearing uh, my Guinness t-shirt today. This t-shirt is uh, 20 years old. I uh, got it, uh, well, I got it in March, so we're just about a month shy of 20 years. Still holding strong. I was a skinnier guy back then, folks. Um, and we're just going to let it sit there. As you can see, we got a bit of time, so I am going to take a little whiskey. I'm not going to waste our time, though. Mm. Okay. <sighs> All right, so we're still letting it surge now. Interesting fact about these cans that I'm using is they do have the draft flow device in it to kind of mimic um, the nitrogen pour in restaurants. Uh, Guinness was the first brewery to employ scientists um, in their brewery. Some were even hired chemists from Oxford. Um, and then in 1959, they developed using nitrogen gas with carbon or CO2 and we get that distinctive pour we see in restaurants, uh, or bars too, I should say, um, with the nitrogen pour. So let's just get a taster out of there. I'm not even gonna wait to do a time test and next to it, because I know this one's great. Look at the nice head there on that beer, folks. Nice. It's really gonna be a, a beard, uh, beard messer upper. Mmm. Delicious. Now, others feel that you should be pouring your can of Guinness, more traditionally that they do in the uh, bars, at a 45 degree angle, um, where you pour it, and then you let it settle for uh, two minutes, and you only pour it about three-fourths of the way up the glass, and then you let it settle. There it is, still going. You're still at the same amount of time for settling, folks. Um, but we'll wait then for that three-fourths. Now, interestingly enough, people like to use Guinness with all sorts of drinks. When Prince Albert died, uh, a barkeep, when people were drinking champagne, decided it was too black of a mood to just be drinking champagne. So they poured a float of Guinness on top, which became the black velvet. Now, folks, if you thought for a second I was going to uh, waste very good Guinness on some great bubbles, you're sorely mistaken. I'll do pretty much anything to make a drink, but I won't waste good Guinness. We'll not waste good Guinness. Are we down there? Okay, then I will pour the rest into the glass. Not gonna go over, not gonna go over. Maybe do a little design. You can't see it, but I got a great big smile with some eyebrows on it. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna let that settle just another second. While we wait, some more fun bar trivia facts for you folks. Um, ooh, let me move back to my little creation here. Fun bar trivia facts for you folks. Ireland is not the top drinker of Guinness. It is, of course, Britain, Lushes. But the second one will surprise you. And in uh, Pet Marf will allow us later on in the video to tell us what that second uh, country is uh, for it. Okay. Ooh, smile is still there. 
And we're smiling, folks, because Guinness is chock full of health. You got B vitamins, you got iron, it's good for bone health, it's good for cardiovascular, it's got probiotics, it's got antioxidants from the flavonoids that are similar to the antioxidants you'll find in fruits and veggies. You also get some good fiber out of here from the barley. It's only 125 calories for every 12 ounces. Of course, you'll drink the Imperial Pine, so we're gonna be getting our 250 calories, but 250 calories of 20 ounces of beer, not too shabby. All right, let's try out the pour that everyone else wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. Not the same. It does not have the great overall flavoring that the Surge and Settle has. The real Surge and Settle. So let's just get another good pour here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Now, folks, the other thing that I have that's 20 years old is my uh, Guinness droplet that I got from the factory in Dublin that's 20 years old. 20 years this droplet say that I got this for finishing my very first Guinness ever. So keep that in your hat. All right, then. Be sure to click the uh, title up here in the right corner to get to FilthyCasualInvestor.com for some more stock stories and further videos. And this has been another episode of Filthy Casual Fermentations. Until next week.